bake this morning, take a look at my tan. Hey, hey, I'm the gingerbread man. Like a magic spell, I just appeared with a bang. Hey, hey, I'm the ginger, 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 gingerbread man. Ginger, 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 gingerbread man. From the tips of my toes to the top of my head. I'm guaranteed genuine gingerbread. Soon as I arrived, the dress a party began. Hey, hey, I'm the ginger, 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 ginger. On the kitchen dresser, all was still. On the stroke of midnight, Herr von Cuckoo popped out of his clock. Cuckoo! 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 Uh, four. Cuckoo! 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 Eleven. Shiver me timbers! Storm the starboard! SOS! Wake up, Mr. Salt. You're having a nautical nightmare. Oh, oh, Miss Pepper. I dreamed the wind blown sails were enveloping us. No, Mr. Salt. We were being enveloped by an envelope. Kindly remove it. Aye, aye, ma'am. Oh! <laughs> May I of help be her salt? Oh, thank ye, shipmate. <laughs> right. One, two, oh, three. Yes, oh, it's yeah. heavy. Oh, yes. oh, 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 oh from oh, me to oh. you. Oh. Ah. This way, over here. Oh, yes. I it's refuse heavy. to be used as a letter rack. Ah. There we are. Yes. Oh, thank you, shipmate. <laughs> I couldn't have heave hold it on me own. <laughs> Oh, good morrow to you. Uh, guten Tag, Herr Sol. Good morrow. Uh, guten Tag. Oh, I'm bored. If only something exciting would happen. Was ist das? What is that? It's a gingerbread man. Ha, uh, guten Tag. Hello. What's the matter with him? He's not finished. Look, no face. No eyes, no mouth. Let us him finish. The dresser folks searched the dresser for things they could use to give the gingerbread man a face. A slice of cherry! Look! Raisins! Uh, one eye! Hi! Two eyes! Hi, hi! One mouse! I'll pipe him aboard! Ha! <whistles> Welcome aboard this dresser, shipmate! He? Why won't he wake up? He's got all his tackle. Twist my grinder, Mr. Salt. <laughs> Hello, I'm Salt. <laughs> I'm Pepper. Hello. Herr von Cuckoo at your service. Hello. Hello, S salt. Hello, 
Peppa? Herr von Cuckoo? Hello? Whee! Hello? 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 Oh. Maybe we made his Hello. mouth too large. <laughs> Only high spirits. Hello. Hey, mind that flower! Hello? 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 What's all this noise? Hello. Hello. It was the old bag. The tea bag who lived in the teapot on the top shelf. Who are you? It's the gingerbread man, old bag. Baked by the big ones. Who are the big ones? The human people who live here. He won't be around much longer then. The big ones bake gingerbread men to eat them. Eat them! <laughs> Goodbye, gingerbread man. Goodbye forever! <laughs> Is it true? Well, shipmate, I'm afraid. If the big ones bake anything... Don't worry about me. I won't be eaten till I'm beaten. And I won't be beaten till I'm eaten. Hooray! 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 Hey, what's this? Big ones. The big ones. It's the big ones. Say woken up, Hef. The big ones. Oh. The big ones, quick. Oh, oh. quick here. Uh, oh, I must uh, get a big to my cook. Uh, oh dear. Yes. <laughs> Down, gingerbread man. Lie down! There you are, dear nothing. Oh, oh. Ah, it's extraordinary. I was sure I could hear music. Must have come from next door. Come back to bed. I feel a bit peckish. We'll eat the gingerbread man I made, if you like. <laughs> You've given him a cheeky face. No, I haven't. Maybe it was the children. Well, he looks too nice to eat. Oh, let's keep him as a sort of decoration. All right. Come on, let's go back to bed. That was exciting. Sailing a bit close to the wind, I reckon, Miss Pepper. <laughs> Sorry I woke the big ones, but I'm not to be beaten, because I'm not to be eaten. Bravo! Hooray! And the dresser folks celebrated with a party to welcome their new friend. Wunderbar! Ha, bravo! Bravo! <laughs> All except the old bag. <laughs> oh, it's... oh, all right then, but not too loud. On the kitchen dresser, the gingerbread man and the other dresser folk waited for the big ones to go to bed. Ah, oh, I've made the cocoa, dear. See you upstairs. Right. Just finishing the washing up. Cuckoo! 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 <laughs> what 
got a weedy little noise. Hmm. Needs a bit of oil, maybe. Past it, more like. Have to get rid of it if it can't do better than that. <gasps> Have to get rid of it, she said. Rid of it. <laughs> it's salt, it's salt, Fräulein Pepper. Calm down, Kuru, calm. But did you not hear? Have to get rid of it, she said. They will throw me. It's a dustbin. <laughs> What's the dustbin? Anything they don't want, the big ones throw in the dustbin. And it's never seen again. Never seen again. <laughs> oh, sorry, Cuckoo. But he must be told. Why should they want to throw Cuckoo away? Because I have the toad in the throat. I think you mean frog, shipmate. <laughs> frog, toad, what is the difference? Well, a toad is larger, with fatter cheeks. <laughs> My life is finished. I'm sorry, shipmate. Almost oh, unfeeling. The point is, he can't sing his cuckoos. He's a cuckoo-less cuckoo clock cuckoo. If he's not better by the time the big ones come down, they'll throw him in the dustbin. Oh, I, I must get the bed. Oh, please, I, I won't. They can be very cruel. Listen, let me help. Oh, no. What could you do? Find something to make you better. Something to soothe a sore throat. What have we got on board that's soothing, huh? Silky smooth and full of goodness. Honey! Honey! Right. Where is it? It means a voyage of exploration to the high shelf. Simple. Back in a jiffy. The gingerbread man couldn't climb the dresser, so he thought of another way up. You'll never get up there like that. Think of a better way. Hmm. Now, what would a real old salt of the sea do, huh? Got it! A capstan. Of course, a capstan. What's a capstan? I'll show you, shipmate. <clears throat> now, Miss Pepper, be good enough to heave ho that piece of string that came on the big one's parcel yesterday. String? Um, aye, 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 Captain. Gingerbread man, the rolling pen. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, Captain. The captain's capstan. Ha <laughs> ha. Ready, Miss Pepper? Once more. The gingerbread man carefully made his way towards the honeypot. He didn't see the teapot lid slowly open. It was the old bag. What are you doing? I, um... You're trespassing! But... This is my shelf. Clear off! Help. Clear off! Clear Help. off! Clear Help. off! Clear Help. off! Please, it's an emergency. Herr von Cuckoo. What about him? He's lost his voice. You mean, he can't cuckoo? Yes. Uh, I mean, no. <laughs> so, I thought... What did you think? I, I thought I'd get him some honey. It might help him. You thought wrong. You mean, honey won't help him? I mean, you're not getting him any. I'm glad. Delighted he's lost his voice. I've always hated that stupid noise every hour of the day and night. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Now, perhaps I can get a bit of peace and quiet. That's not fair. Life's not fair. I'm all alone. All the other tea bags in my packet were used up ages ago. 
The big ones missed me and I hid in the teapot. No one ever visits me. Well, it's not easy getting here. It's not easy living here. Are you lonely? I never said that. I'll be your friend, if you like. Ah, bribery. Get round me. Let's be friends. Then I give you the honey. Whoosh, down. Never see you again. No, I'll come back. Really? Mm, all right, then. Two spoonfuls of honey and no more. Thanks, old bag. Mr. Salt and Miss Pepper got ready to receive the honey. Back of it! Ah, to starboard! To port! Ready! Come on, shipmate! Eat this, Cuckoo. <laughs> Thank <laughs> oh, And now I I must rest. <coughs> Good night. The dresser folks settled down for the night. Night, Miss Pepper. Good night, Mr. Salt. Good night, gingerbread man. Night, old bag. <laughs> Next morning, the big ones came down as usual. Hurry up, dear. I've got to be at work by nine. No time for breakfast, then. Did you hear that, darling? Eight perfect working order cuckoos. <laughs> He's not past it after all. No dustbin for him. Probably a bit of fluff in his works. What's the gingerbread man doing up there? Oh, the children must have moved him. He looks good up there. That can be his home. Oh, come on. We'll be late. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Congratulations, Cuckoo. You've never sung better. My friends, I thank you muchly for better me making. <laughs> Hooray! It's good, isn't it, old bag? Good! That noisy cuckoo's better, and I've got to share my shelf with you! <laughs> it's wonderful! <laughs> I told you I'd be your friend. You make sure you visit me Every day, gingerbread man. <laughs> On the kitchen dresser, all was quiet. The big ones were upstairs asleep in bed. Salt and Pepper were asleep too. Suddenly, the gingerbread man woke up. <sighs> <sighs> the old bag wasn't in the mood for a visitor. One move and you'll feel my false teeth. Uh, no, no. I mean, one false move 
and you'll feel my teeth. Somewhere I snack a sniff. I'm gonna sniff a snack. Ah, lip smacking, paw licking, whisker itching, nose twitching, super snack. I'm gonna nose my follow, and nothing's gonna stand in my way. Hello. You're standing in my waist, Ranger. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, hi, Ginger. I'm Sleek the Mouse. And I'm telling you, this dresser ain't big enough for the both of us. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Yay, it's you. You're my little snackaroo. What? You smell good enough to eat, Ginger. I am, but not by you. Yeah, come here. Um, come here. Um, Elfon Cuckoo saw what was going on and sped to the rescue. Herr Salt, Fräulein Pepper! <laughs> oh, oh, storm the starboard hoop! Oh, SOS, a mouse! Help, help! Come here, Ginger, I'm starving! Oh, Miss Pepper, what are we to do? Quick, Mr. Salt, twist my grinder! Miss Pepper blew Pepper in Sleek's face. <laughs> he wants to eat me. Quick, string, please, Miss Pepper. Aye, aye, Captain. Using the rolling pin capstan, Mr. Salt and Miss Pepper hoisted the gingerbread man up to the top shelf out of harm's way. Or so they thought. Look at Ginger! Where are you hiding? Uh, no, I mean, where are you hiding? <laughs> What's this ghastly racket? I'm trying to sleep! Sleek the mouse wants to eat me! Mouse? What mouse? Oh, I hate mice. They try to nibble my perforation. SOS Gingerbread Man, he's coming! <laughs> Chewie! Alright, Ginger. Get ready to beat your maker. I mean, um, <laughs> meet your baker. Let him out, shall I? Let him nibble your perforations? No! No! He can't stay there. You've got to get rid of him. The dresser folk thought about the problem. Then Salt had an idea. A mug mousetrap. Shipmates, what would make Sleek want to go under? Food. But what kind of food? He wanted to eat me. Something sweet. A sweet. Quick, gingerbread man. Heave ho a sweet from the sweetie jar. Aye, aye, Captain.
the gingerbread man found a sweet. Cuckoo placed it carefully under the mug. All right, gingerbread man, let him out! <laughs> Ginger, I've had enough of your tricks. <laughs> hey, that sure is a sweet smell. Mm, all fruity and juicy and crunchy. <laughs> it's a sweetie. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Here it is! My sweetie snackaroo! Go, Miss Pepper! <laughs> Got him! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> you rubble tossing cat! I mean, I mean, I mean, double crossing rat! The dresser was a safe place again. I won't be eaten, and I won't be beaten! Early one morning, all was quiet on the kitchen dresser. Mr Salt and Miss Pepper were asleep. On the top shelf, the gingerbread man was asleep too. But not for long. <sighs> now, what shall I do? Visit the old bag. <coughs> Maybe not. She won't be pleased if I wake her up. I'll go and see Mr. Salt and Miss Pepper. Miss Pepper? Oh, well, I'll find something to do on my own. Timbers, oh, what's going on here? Morning! Morning, gingerbread man! <laughs> this is fun! Ooh, not too loud, if the big ones should wake up. Uh, I think it's splendid. I'm going to dance to the bottle beat. to perforate my perforations! Sorry, old bag. Hold your beak, you noisy bird! Uh, sorry, old bag, it's, it's my chomp! <laughs> Elfon Cuckoo made his way down to the worktop to join the others. The dresser folk discussed what to do to pass the time before the big ones came down. Something quiet to stop the old bag complaining again. Ta! I am knowing. We play hide and seek. Good idea, Cuckoo. 
Hide and seek? What's that? Well, we all hide, and you have to find us. Close your eyes and count to ten. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming! Oh! oh. <laughs> On you go. Ah. Uh, 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 found you, Cuckoo. Well done. Now for Salty. <laughs> Found you! Oh, well played, shipmate! Ha <laughs> ha! Now it's your turn to hide. Right. Close your eyes. Eins, zwei, drei, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> oh, it's the big ones! I'm putting the milk bottles out. We'll see you later. Thank you. Bye, dear. Oh, that was a close shave, nicht wahr? Okay, gingerbread man, game over. You can come out now. Where is she? Worried, the dresser folks searched the dresser, but the gingerbread man was nowhere to be found. They decided to ask the old bag for advice. Hold bag! Hold bag, please! We need your help! S.O.S. What is it now? Why can't you leave me in peace? Sorry, old bag, but we've lost the gingerbread man. Lost him? We were playing hide-and-seek. He was hiding. And we cannot be finding him. He's playing one of his silly games, I expect. No, old bag, really. He's disappeared. What are we to do? Mm. Let me think. Mm. Mm. Um. Got it. Get Sleek the mouse to help. Sleek? What could he do? Sniff out the gingerbread man. Ah, as long as he doesn't eat him. That's a risk you'll have to take. The dresser folk plucked up the courage to ask Sleek to help. Oh, guys, you can't. I mean, oh, can't you guys not to mix? I'm a toothless rough guy. I mean, a ruthless tough guy. When the dresser folk told him they wanted him to sniff out the gingerbread man, Sleek could hardly believe his luck. Straight away, he started hunting. <laughs> What what's that smell swell? I mean, I mean, I mean, swell smell. Oh, crunchy and munchy and yummy and scrummy. He's found him. Gotcha, my little snackaroo. Don't eat him. It's not a gingerbread man. Ah, oh, it's a bit of a biscuit. <laughs> The dresser folk wondered if they would ever see the gingerbread man again. Hours passed till the big ones were due home from work. At five o'clock, Cuckoo sadly came out of his clock. Hello, 
Salty. Hello, Miss Pepper. Ah, oh, it's the gingerbread man. <laughs> He's back. Oh, my friend. Where have you been? Well, when you closed your eyes, I hid under the milk bottles. I got carried outside. Oh, no wonder we couldn't find you. Welcome home, gingerbread man, or ha, welcome home. <laughs> <laughs> On the kitchen dresser lay the leftovers of a meal. The big ones had been entertaining. On the top shelf, the old bag was busy. What are you doing, old bag? Tidying my herb garden. Herb garden? What's that? Mm, let me show you round. Sage, rosemary, thyme, marjoram. What are they for? The big ones use them for cooking. They say the herbs give special flavours to the food. Mm -hmm. They, sweet basil, I wish the big ones would put them back the way they find them. Oh, they're so messy. Messing up my herb garden, my precious herbs. Why are they precious? They contain remarkable medicinal powers. I have studied them hard and long. They can cure diseases, make sick folk better. Nobody told me you could do that. Nobody else knows, except you. <laughs> it's our little secret. Down on the worktop, Miss Pepper and Mr. Salt were in for a surprise. <sighs> oh, shiver me timbers. Ah, storm the starboard, SOS. <sighs> What's going on here? The big ones have gone to bed without doing the washing up, Mr. Salt. I can hardly move. Hang on to your halyard, Miss Pepper. I'll heave-ho these plates. Ah, ah, heave! Ah, heave! Ah, ah, ah. No, sorry, Miss Pepper. Maybe I could pass you these cups and saucers. Then I'd have a little space. Uh, uh, oh. Thank you, you man. Uh, uh, right then. Uh, uh, oh, we are... <laughs> Oh, guys, you okay? And I, I mean, okay, you guys. This is a raid. Sniff a snackaroo. Where is it? Where is it? For days, my belly's been empty, and I've had a belly full. Snackaroo. Oh, my, 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 it's a beast fit for a feast. <laughs> I mean, a feast fit for a beast. Sleek. Yeah. What did you guys? No tricks. Stay right there. Sail away, Sleek. You can't come on this dresser. Yeah, who's going to stop me, Salty? Quick, twist my grinder, Mr. Salt. I'll pepper him. Aye, aye, Miss Pepper. Oh, no, 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 no! Not the pepper! I mean, not the pepper! Oh, oh, I can't reach the pepper, Mr. Salt. There's no room. <laughs> I can't peach the pepper, huh? I'm gonna have my feast, you guys, and nothing is gonna stop me. <laughs> the big ones were coming. Look, it's nearly one o'clock in the morning. Well, let's quickly do the washing up then and go to bed. All right. Ah! Look! Oh, heavens, a mouse. Ah! Oh! Shoo, shoo, you verminous little rodent. Go on, shoo, shoo. <laughs> He's gone, darling. He hasn't. He's hiding. Oh! All right. I'll put some poison down. Here you are, you wretched rodent. This'll teach you. Poison, yes. One gulp and you're a goner. Oh, thank you, dear. Oh, oh, well, come on then, let's go up. We'll wash up in the morning. Cuckoo. Elfon Cuckoo, unaware of what had been going on, went to visit his friends. 
Hoppla! Oh, what a mess, nicht wahr? Tu, was ist das? The big ones, leftovers. Chelsea, hmm, a fancy quick bite to eat. I'm rather peckish, be. Cuckoo! No, no! SOS! No! No, no! Cuckoo! Hello, my friends. Oh, yes, this is tasty. It's poisoned. Poisoned by the big ones. No, I know. You, you have a bit of a joke with me, yes? <laughs> no, no, see, it delicious is. No! <laughs> oh, Miss Pepper, what are we to do? Nothing much we can do. We're stuck, Mr. Salt. The gingerbread man decided to help. He's still breathing. Just. Oh, if only we had a ship's doctor. But we have. What? Well, not a doctor exactly, but... She could help. Who? The old bag with her herbs. They can cure diseases, make sick folk better, she said. She won't come to the rescue. Oh, she never lifts a leaf to help us dress her folk. Old bag! Old bag! We need your help! What is it? Cuckoo's been poisoned by the big ones. Poisoned? Why? They were trying to get rid of Sleek. Why should I help? I've never liked that cuckoo's cuckoos. Keep me awake. Please. Mm, no. Very well. The old bag collected herbs to mix into a herbal remedy. The gingerbread man got ready to receive them. The old bag chanted an ancient rhyme. Chives are the savour of lives. Sweet basil, a powerful antidote. Bay makes the aches go away. Bilberry soothes a sore throat. It is ready. Heaven cuckoo must now eat. Eat this. The nastier it smells, the more good it does you. Eat. It's a frostbuster. The gingerbread man helped Helfon Cuckoo back to his clock. The dresser folk all hoped he might be better by morning, because when the big ones came, they would expect to hear him cuckoo. Next morning. Oh, let's get this washing up done. Any sign of that mask yet? No, no. I reckon that poison's got rid of him. It's nigh on eight o'clock, Miss Pepper. Oh, I hope he'll be all right. Eight o'clock. Come on, Cuckoo. Please, be better. Thanks, old bag. Thank my herbs. What have I done? <laughs> Quiet! Tohopla! Tohopla! Ginger! It was Saturday afternoon. On the kitchen dresser, all was still. The gingerbread man was resting. On the worktop, Miss Pepper was the first to wake up. Oh, no! The big ones have done it again! Mr. Salt, wake up! Kindly remove this shopping list. Mr. Salt! Oh, dear. 
Suddenly, Sleek the mouse invaded the worktop. Guys, UK. I'm in UK, you guys. This is a raid, do you hear? I'm a mouseless roof. Yeah. No, I'm not. I mean a rootless mouse. Oh, go away, Sleek. Hi, Salty. Hi, Papa. Don't move. And you won't get hurt. Um, I'm starving. Quick, Mr. Salt. Twist my grinder. I'll pepper him. You dirty, stinking rats. Don't you dare. Mr. Salt, wake up, please. Twist my grinder. Hey, what's with Salty? He spooked it to the rot. I mean, I, I, I rooted to the spot. Scared of me, here, yeah, Salty. <laughs> you know a tough guy when you see one, eh? Keep away, Sleek. I'm warning you. Here, yeah, you can't threaten me, Pepper. You can't pepper me. Salty can't twist your grinder. <laughs> Salty, put him up. Fight, fight. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> In the nick of time, the big ones came into the kitchen. I'm off to the shops, dear. Now, where's the shopping list? On the dresser. Right. OK, I'll answer it. I don't know, but please hurry. Guten Tag, Miss Pepper. What is the problem? It's Mr. Salt. He won't wake up. And Sleek the Mouse was here. Oh, Herr Salt, Herr Salt. Wakey, wakey. It's no good, Cuckoo. I tried that. Ah, I have it, Miss Pepper. He is empty. Empty? No salt. No salt? No. No salt. Hey, gingerbread man, are you there? Hello, Cuckoo. Wake the old bag, if you please. Why? No time for questions. Wake her schnell. Smell? What smell? No, no, schnell, quick, quick. Old bag, wake up, please. <coughs> oh. Go away, gingerbread man. No, I'm trying to sleep. Emergency, old bag. Cuckoo. That noisy bird again. What is it this time, Cuckoo? Down here, old bag. Well? Oh, yes, very well, thank you. But her salt is saltless. He has run out of salt. Well? He'll just have to run out and get some more. He cannot run. He cannot move. Where are the big ones salt keeping? Please, old bag. It's serious. Mm -hmm. Gingerbread man, look on the middle shelf. A big jar. Right, right. Quick as I can. You can rely on the gingerbread man. Is this it? Yes! Have a look inside. <sighs> it's empty. Since there is nothing to be done. You'll just have to wait till the big ones notice he's empty. But Sleek might come back and knock him off the dresser. The big ones? What? Where? No! They could help. The shopping list. Pepper suggested they should add salt to the big one's shopping list. The dresser folks sprang into action. The 
the big ones. Boys, get to make to my feet. Go here, this. Right, I've got the shopping list. Uh, won't be long. Later that afternoon. My V. Look, Miss Pepper. Salt. Your plan worked. <laughs> Quick, let's open it. Ah, well done, Miss Pepper. Well done, gingerbread man. Now we answer her salts SOS. Mm hmm. Oh yes, it's yes. There we are. Right. Yes, good, good, good. <laughs> Careful now. Mr. Salt? Herr Salt? Oh, shiver me timbers. Oh, <laughs> ready about man the lifeboat. Ah, you. Oh, sorry, Miss Pepper. I... All right, Salty. Ah, I feel fine, gingerbread man. Bright and breezy, full of the joys of spring. Full of salt, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, you cake! I mean, okay, you guys. I'm coming for ya. Okay, salty. <laughs> Let's take up where we left off. Huh? Still spooted to the rock, huh? And I mean, rooted at a spot. Yellow belly coward. Come on, fight! Twist my grinder, Mr. Salt. <laughs> he can't. <laughs> He's a useless. Aye, aye, Miss Pepper. What? <laughs> oh, no, you rebel dozen cats and your double double crossing rats. <sighs> One day, the big ones bought a pet goldfish. They put it on the worktop. Where is he? He's hiding. Come on, Gilbert. Out you come. <laughs> Gilbert? Funny name for a fish. It's not. He's got gills, hasn't he? Gilbert. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh. Oh, come on, Gilbert. There he is. He's shy. Let's leave him to get used to his new home. Oh. What is it, Mr. Salt? A fish, Miss Pepper. You heard the big ones? Like the big fish in the open seas, only smaller. He's a lovely colour. Ahoy there, gingerbread man! We have a visitor on board. Come and look! Hello, Salty. Miss Pepper. Who's this? This is Gilbert, the goldfish. Why is he in there? He can't live outside water. Ahoy there, Cuckoo! Come down, quick! Is it safe? Some big ones! Never mind them. Come and look. 
This is Gilbert. Hello, Gilbert. Herr von Cuckoo at your service. <laughs> Why, what a fine specimen, nicht wahr? The big ones, quick! Oh, yes, let me get up there. <laughs> oh, quick, here. <laughs> They waited, but the big ones didn't come into the kitchen. False alarm! SOS over! Help! Herr Salt! Miss Pepper! Was she cuckooing about? Ich bin stuck! Stuck? Stuck? Yeah, ja, ich cannot get up! Ich bin stuck! He can't stay there. The big ones may see him. Come down again, cuckoo! I cannot come down either. Coming down is as impossible as going up. Fly. I cannot fly. <laughs> My wings are wooden. <laughs> well, cheer up, cuckoo. It's quite simple. You've stopped. Ich no, ich stopped half. Ich bin stuck. Of course. He stopped. I've just said that, Miss Pepper. No, his clock has stopped. Where's the key? The what? The key to wind his clock up. Where's the key, Cuckoo? Elf on Cuckoo said the big ones kept his key on the top shelf. The gingerbread man offered to hunt for it. Using the rolling pin capstan, Mr. Salt and Miss Pepper hoisted him up. He searched in the old bag's herb garden. He searched near her teapot. He searched all over until... Found it! Trying to rest. <sighs> Found it. Can you catch it? Stand by, Miss Pepper. But her salt, I don't think. Fear not, Cuckoo. We'll get you home. But, but. Anchors away, gingerbread man. Never mind, Gilbert. What about my key? It in the water has plopped. Help! Sorry, Salty. My fault. Gingerbread man, will you stop shouting? If you're going to share my shelf, you must learn a bit of consideration. Sorry, old bag. There's a problem. Noise is the problem. Your noise. Be quiet! The dresser folk thought hard how they could get Cuckoo's key out of the goldfish bowl. Otherwise, Cuckoo might never get home. Suddenly, Mr. Salt had an idea. Got it, shipmates. <laughs> Gingerbread man, time for a spot of fishing. Gingerbread man, next problem, get the key to Cuckoo's clock and wind it up. Right you are, quick as I can. You can rely on the gingerbread man. Danke, 
gingerbread man. Danke. My pleasure, Cuckoo. Quick, the big ones. Hello, Gilbert. Are you settling in? Let's take him in the living room. He'll get bored. Nothing much happens here. Little did the big ones know just how much happens on their dresser. Cuckoo! 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 On the kitchen dresser early one Saturday morning, Mr. Salt and Miss Pepper were asleep. On the top shelf, the gingerbread man and the old bag were having one of their chats. I'll tell your fortune, if you like. Yes, please, old bag. Show me your hand. Huh? Mm. Through the power of the tea leaf, see the shape of things to come. Mm. Oh. What can you see? I can see, I can see. A message. Listen and learn. A journey I can see you make. There will be a weekend break. A journey you can see me make. There will be a weekend break. What does it mean, old bag? You'll find out soon. <gasps> the big ones! <gasps> Yes. Don't forget the picnic basket. No. Children are in the car. What's this doing here? Oh, they wanted to take it. But I said they couldn't play with it at the seaside. Might get sand in the works. Right. Ready, then. Off we go. Uh, uh, oh, no. What have the big ones left here now? Mr. Salt! Mr. Salt! Storm to starboard, ready about! Man the lifeboats! Uh, it, it, oh, what's this? Morning, Salty. Morning, Miss Pepper. Morning, Gingerbread Man. Ahoy there, Gingerbread Man. The big ones have gone out to the seaside, they said. Oh, yes. Oh, the seaside. Ah, with all that salty sea. <laughs> See it in the picture, Gingerbread Man. The rolling waves and the sandy shore. Ah, oh, what I'd give to see the sea like the big ones. The old bag must have got it wrong. Got what wrong? She said I'd make a journey, not the big ones. A weekend break, she said. Oh. Hey, what's this? One of the little big ones' toys. I wonder what it does. He'd better not play with it, Miss Pepper. Why not? The big ones aren't here. Well... Mm -hmm. uh, hey! <laughs> hey, what's it, gingerbread man? <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Everyone. Look, Cuckoo. <laughs> oh, very clever. <laughs> How is it working? You press this. Look. Forwards. Backwards. Let me try. It's just, I know. <laughs> you sit on it, gingerbread man, and I will work the controls. <laughs> All right. Do you think this is wise, Miss Pepper? <laughs> I don't know, Mr. Salt, but it's great fun. 
Help! Oh, my! The plate is broken! What are we going to do? The gingerbread man offered to go to the top shelf and ask the old bag for advice. <coughs> Using Mr. Salt's rolling pin capstan, the dresser folk hoisted the gingerbread man up and up towards the teapot. Old bag? Sorry to bother you, but... Well, that was a quick journey. Enjoy your weekend break. Well, I had a journey, old bag, on one of the little big one's toys, but, but I broke a plate. What? I didn't mean that sort of weekend break, gingerbread man. What can we do, old bag? You'll have to mend it before the big ones get back. Mend it? How? Got it. Glue. Glue? Glue. The, the sticky stuff. Sticks things together. The big ones keep it in the little drawer down there. Thanks, old bag. Preparing to mend the plate, the dresser folk first had to put all the pieces in the right place. It was rather like doing a jigsaw puzzle. We've done it! <laughs> now we are the gluing doing. There. What next, old bag? Leave it to dry. As long as possible. Just as well the big ones are away. The dresser folk left the plate all day, all night, and all the next day. will surely be home soon, gingerbread man. Shall we put the plate back? It looks as good as new. Come on then, let's heave ho it into place. There. Thanks, Salty. I'm sorry I broke it. Where was this toy before you moved it, gingerbread man? Oh, over there. I'd better move it. Yes, but do be careful this time. What's happened? It's not working. Hey, look! I reckon that's what makes it work, shipmate. It's what the big ones call a battery. Ah, fits inside somehow. Oh, yeah, I, I can see where it goes. Uh. There. Done, shipmate. Thank goodness. Wunderbar, wunderbar. <laughs> Ach, so big ones. Oh, my. Home again. It's good to get away, but even nicer to come home. Oh, we had a great weekend break, didn't we? Yes. Let's put the kettle on. Little did the big ones know. The dresser folk had had a great weekend break, too.
Early one morning on the kitchen dresser, Mr. Salt and Miss Pepper were resting. On the top shelf, the gingerbread man was talking to the old bag. I'll tell your future for you, if you like. Will you? How? Tea leaves have always had special magic fortune-telling properties. They send messages through my perforations. Show me your hand. Well... Come along. Don't be shy. Oh! I can see. I can see. What can you see? A message. For me? Yes. Listen and learn. Listen and learn. Danger. Danger. Someone in hot water. You're their helper, their supporter. Danger. Danger. Someone in hot water. I'm their helper, their supporter. What does it mean? You'll find out soon. Mm. Afternoon, nothing unusual had happened on the dresser. No one was in danger or in hot water. The gingerbread man began to think the old bag's fortune telling must have been wrong. Old bag? Are you sure? Huh? Hey, the teapot! It's gone! Old bag, where are you? How did the teapot get down there? <gasps> the big ones! Granny will be here soon. I'll put the kettle on. It'll suit you. Ha, ha. I thought we'd use the best teapot for Granny. Good idea. There she is now. Realising the old bag must still be in the teapot the big ones were going to make tea in, the gingerbread man sped to the rescue. But what could he do? Old bag! Oh. Wake up! Hey, Salty! Miss Pepper! <laughs> Ahoy there, storm to starboard man, the lifeboat! Did you... Oh, oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Morning, Miss Pepper. Morning, gingerbread man. Afternoon, actually, Salty. Good afternoon, then. It's not. Not what? Good. It's a terrible afternoon. The old bag needs help. Come on. Not now, gingerbread man. Not in the afternoon. The big ones. Yes, but... Action stations, they're coming. Turn the electricity on. Getting forgetful in the old age. Sorry, a slight delay. <coughs> old bag. <coughs> Wake up, please.
tea bag. Two tea bags. Boiling water. Tea. Tea up. All right, old bag. Oh, that was close. Old bag. Oh. Ah. Come midnight, the big ones went to bed. By now, the old bag's teapot was safely back on the top shelf. The old bag herself was still on the worktop. Guten Abend, gingerbread man. <gasps> oh, so old bag. How did she down here get? She's had a nasty shock, Cuckoo. Did she fall? Ahoy there, what's up? The old bag's down. The big ones used her teapot. Oh, they nearly used her. She can't stay here. What are we going to do? The dresser folk decided to use Mr. Salt's captain's capstan to lift the old bag home. Gingerbread man, oh, 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 where am I? You're back home, old bag. You're safe. Oh, thank you. Everybody helped. Thank you, all of you. Our pleasure, ma'am. Anyone in danger on the high shelf? Your fortune telling was right. Of course. The tea leaves are never wrong. Danger, danger. Someone in hot water. You're their helper, their supporter. But little did I think I'd be the someone in trouble. <laughs> you were nearly in hot water. But you saved me. Thank you. <sighs> And the old bag went home for a long, long sleep. <laughs> It was lunchtime. The big ones were at home, so the dresser folk had to keep very still. Mr. Big One was feeling poorly and was spending the day in bed. The gingerbread man was feeling curious. Oh, bag! Old bag! <laughs> yes? Come and look, old bag. Salt and pepper have moved. Moved? What do you mean, moved? What's going on? Looks as though they're leaving. Leaving? Oh, forever? No, no, no. One of the big ones is having lunch off a tray. Salt and pepper make a meal tastier. Oh, I see. Hey, Salty! Miss Pepper! Shh! Quiet, gingerbread man. We're setting sail on a voyage upstairs. We'll see you later. Have a good time. You behave yourself while we're away. No mischief. You keep an eye on him, old bag. I will. He'll be as good as gold, won't you, gingerbread man? Of course. The big ones.
They're gone. Right. Settle down. I'm keeping my eye on you. The gingerbread man was still feeling curious. After a while, the old bag felt rather sleepy. Oh, where are you, oh, where are you off to? Nowhere, old bag. Just stretching my legs. Stay there. I've got my eye on you. <sighs> She's asleep. Suddenly, Sleek the Mouse invaded the dresser. Hi, Ginger. Oh. Okay, Ginger. What's cooking? What's all this cheeping and lumping? Yeah, I mean leaping and jumping. It's a game, Sleek. Look. Yeah, looks pretty cool, Ginger. Get up. I'm taking you on. Well, chicken. Uh, no, no uh, but come on, move, play the game. Oh. All right. Eat it? Who's gonna stop me? Ginger? Me! <laughs> oh no. Oh, what are we to do? You're on your own, Ginger. So long. <laughs> hey! Bread man, what have you been doing? Sorry, Cuckoo. Cuckoo said they must clean up the mess quickly. He sent the gingerbread man for some kitchen roll to soak it up. (laughs) 
Now change up red man the swing bin. The what? The swing bin. I show you. Schnell, schnell, quick, the big ones. Hello, Salty. Hello, Miss Pepper. Ahoy there, gingerbread man. Welcome back. Thank you. Have you been behaving? Of course. At that moment, the old bag woke up. Remembering she had promised to stay awake, she rather guiltily climbed out of her teapot. Did you keep an eye on him, old bag? I most certainly did. He was as good as gold, weren't you, gingerbread man? <laughs> as good as gold. On the kitchen dresser, all was still. It was late, and the big ones had just come home from an evening out. the best fun fair we've ever been to. Uh, they even had the big merry-go-round. Oh, and I've never won one of these before. Well, it was a brilliant throw. I always thought they glued them down so you couldn't knock them off. Hey, it's late. Better get the children to bed. It's long past their bedtime. Oh, oh yes, get ourselves to bed too. Later that night, Sleek the mouse, hungry as usual, burst onto the dresser. Mm, yeah, on your way, hairy stranger. Go, get him. I mean, I mean, I mean, get going. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, this dresser ain't big enough for the both of us. <sighs> <laughs> ah! Ooh! Ahoy there, Miss Pepper! Sleek the mouse! Quick, Mr. Salt! Twist my grinder! Come on, come on, move! You're asking for trig bubble! Yeah, I mean, big trouble! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! Well done, Miss Pepper! <laughs> on the top shelf, the gingerbread man woke up and came to see what was going on. Hello, Salty. Ooh. Gingerbread man, you made me jump. Oh, what's this? Hello? Hello? I'll hazard a guess it's what the big ones call a coconut. Yeah, they went to the fun fair tonight. The fun fair? What's that? It's a place where the big ones have fun. They play games and win prizes. I reckon they won this on the coconut shy. Hello? Ooh, I think it's a shy coconut. Hey, Salty, Miss Pepper, why don't we have a fun fair on the dresser? Well, I... <laughs> yes, why not? We could play hoopla. Hoopla? Miss Pepper explained how to play, and the gingerbread man went in search of some hoops. What's going on? Evening, old bag! Ah! How 
How dare you? Oh, sorry, old bag. It's a game. We're having a fun fair. It's not fun and it's not fair. Can't you find another game to play? You think of one, old bag. <laughs> what about funfair fortune telling? I'll tell your fortune. <laughs> See into the future. <laughs> I'm getting a message through my perforations. Listen and learn. We're listening. Pride comes before a fall. Pride comes before a fall. What does that mean? You'll find out soon. Everyone waited to see what would happen. But nothing happened. And the gingerbread man began to feel bored. Seeing the coconut, he decided to play a game of his own. Careful, gingerbread man. Oh, I'm all right, Miss Pepper. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, look uh, out! Uh, 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 SOS, man the lifeboats, man overboard! Help! Uh, oh, uh, help! Oh, gingerbread man! Come on, heave, Miss Pepper! Heave! <laughs> You see? You see? My fortune-telling was right. Pride came before a fall. Now, perhaps I can get a bit of peace and quiet. Got him! I told you not to show off. Sorry, Salty. What are we going to do about the big one's coconut? We can't leave it on the kitchen floor. I'll get it. How? Oh, the captain's capstan. The, the rolling pin. Everybody, <laughs> what is happening? Give us a hand, please, Cuckoo. I will my best to do, but what is it we are doing? The others explained. Soon the gingerbread man was ready to go. Steady as he goes. Hold on, Miss Pepper. Meanwhile, Sleek the mouse was on the floor looking for crumbs. Yeah, it's the hairy stranger. Listen, Harry Stranger, I'm telling you all and for once, this floor ain't big enough for the both of us. Oh, oh no! It's sleek! Yeah, change oh, oh, Come the, 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 Help! Starving. Help! <laughs> Salty! Pull <laughs> oh, me back! Quick, Miss Pepper! <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry, Sleek, but try as you can. You'll never catch the gingerbread man! Ah! 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 
It was early morning. The big ones were upstairs in bed. They had been cooking till late the night before. Mr. Salt and Miss Pepper were resting. On the top shelf, the gingerbread man was asleep too, and the old bag and her teapot. But Helf and Cuckoo was awake. He had work to do. So, I will indoor stay until it is stopping. What's that noise? Better ask the old bag. She'll know. Old bag, wake up, please. What is it, gingerbread man? Sorry, old bag, but... Oh. What's the matter? <gasps> you look as though you've seen a ghost. A ghost? What's a ghost? Sometimes, in the dead of night, beasties and ghosties, all white and looming, come out of hiding and haunt people. <laughs> Really? No, not really. I'm joking. There's no such thing as ghosts. And even if there were, they wouldn't come frightening you. Now, I'm going back to sleep. I suggest you do the same. Good night. Good night, old bag. The gingerbread man took the old bag's advice, and soon he was asleep again but not for long. Oh, oh, I don't like it. I'll go and see Salty and Miss Pepper. Oh. Hey, Salty, Miss Pepper, oh, wake up, please. Uh, SOS man, the lifeboats, we're running aground. Oh. Morning, Salty. Morning, Miss Pepper. What's the matter, Gingerbread Man? You look as though you've seen a ghost. That's what the old bag said. Then she said, there's no such things as ghosts. Quite right, too. No ghosts aboard this dresser, eh, Miss Pepper? Right, Mr. Salt. <sighs> What's that noise? Just a bit of thunder, Gingerbread Man. A storm, ah, just like on the high seas. Yes, all right, Mr. Salt. Listen, Gingerbread Man, the thunder's outside. We're inside. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. Go back to sleep. Mr. Salt and Miss Pepper settled down again, but the Gingerbread Man was wide awake and restlessly explored the worktop. Uh, oh! Suddenly, Sleek the Mouse invaded the dresser. Oh, guys, you okay? Yeah, no, I mean, okay, you guys. Repair for a parade. No, I mean, prepare for a raid. Oh, morning, Sleek. Uh, what's it, Ginger? <laughs> I thought you were a ghost. A ghost? Me? Ah, think again, Ginger. I'm the boss mouse. A dangerous desperado. I'm a mouse of soup. Pardon? I, I, I mean, a uh, super mouse. You wouldn't be frightened of ghosts, then? Me frightened? Yeah, I tell you, this rodent is real -less. I mean, this rodent is fearless. No ghost could make my whiskers tremble. Hey, I sniff a whiff. Tasty pastry. Yeah, stay where you are, Ginger. I'm gonna snibble my knuckaroo. No, nibble my snuckaroo, and nothing's gonna stop me. <gasps> the big ones. Yeah. Oh. It's a bit 
bit early to be up. Oh, sorry, but the thunder woke me. Besides, we've got all this cooking stuff to tidy away. All right. Later that morning, when the big ones had gone to work, the dresser was all tidy again. On the top shelf, the old bag started to do her keep-fit exercises. Stretch, bend, up, down. Hmm. What's that? Very strange. <laughs> Count of my cuckoos. Never mind cuckoo. that, cuckoo. The ghost of the dresser cuckoo. has come to haunt us. Look! <laughs> what rubbish! There are no such things as ghosts, are. <laughs> they are not existing. Ah! Help! Help! What's the matter with everyone? Hey, Salty! <laughs> Miss Pepper. <laughs> what, 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 what? Ah, Test the ghost of the dresser. Help! But, but, but Salty, M Miss Pepper. Oh, oh, look, it's the gingerbread man. Oh, we nearly fell overboard, gingerbread man. Oh, what you doing? Why are you all white? Sorry, Salty. Sorry, Miss Pepper. I had to hide from the big ones. So I climbed in here. The flower packet! <laughs> <laughs> we, th we thought you were a ghost. You told me there were no such things as ghosts. <laughs> oh, oh no, it's sleek again. <laughs> That pasty pastry, a pasty pastry. I'm starving. Sail away, Sleek. Shall I pepper him, Mr. Salt? Yeah, you don't scare me, Pepper. Oh, you salty. Nothing scares me. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> What's the matter, Sleek? <laughs> You, you look as though you'd seen a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> you rubble dozen cats. I mean, you double crossing rats. It was nearly midnight. The big ones had gone to bed. They'd had a busy day giving a birthday party for one of the little big ones. Gingerbread man awoke to find the kitchen dresser almost unrecognizable. Hey, Salty, Miss Pepper. <laughs> Oh, 
What a mess this tower! Was is this? What is that? Hmm. bread man. Uh, hello, Cuckoo. So give me a nasty shock. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> look. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? For me, it is not so funny. What is going on here today? <laughs> the salt, fall and pepper. <laughs> Storm the starboard, man the lifeboat, SOS. And uh, you, you, uh, what's going on? Oh no, the big ones again. They haven't cleaned up after the little big ones' party. Mr. Salt, Herr von Cuckoo. Kindly clear a space. Hi, I am. Thank you. I wish the big ones would be a little more thoughtful. Ah, they're only human, Miss Pepper. <coughs> ah, what is this? What is that? <coughs> Ah, take cover! Help! Help! No! No, 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 help, 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 Sorry, Pepper. Just a little joke. Just a little joke, eh? We nearly fell overboard, didn't we, Cuckoo? Yeah, overboard we nearly fell. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Later on, the dresser folk decided to have a party of their own complete with party games. Now, this shipmates is called Musical Statues. Cuckoo, you can be the judge. Oh, danke, Herr Salt. Yes, what must I do? We all dance to the music and... Good, it's like dancing. No, 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 you don't dance. You do the judging. Oh. When the music stops, we all freeze. Still as a statue. Good, it's like freezing. Not you, Cuckoo. You do the judging. Oh. And anyone who moves is out. Music! Dancing! Where's the music, Cuckoo? You said I was the judging doing. Yes, but you have to turn the radio on too. Ah, yeah, yeah, ha, ha, yeah, boy. And turn it off to make us freeze. Mm -hmm. Ready, steady, dance. <laughs> Gingerbread man, you are out! Oh. Let him have another go. He's never played before. Ready, steady, dance! <laughs> Woken me up! What 
What's all this mess on my shelf? Big one's rubbish. Right, I'll show them. You are all out. You all moved. Oh, bag! What did you do that for? The big ones were making too much mess, and you were making too much noise. Oh, the big ones! Ah, it's all quiet now. I heard three loud bangs. They woke me up. So did I. Oh, look, it's the balloons. <laughs> oh, what a shame. They must have blown them up too high. Never mind. Oh, oh, we'd better clear up all this mess in the morning. The party was fun, though. I think they all enjoyed it. All clear! We all enjoyed our party, too. All except the old bag. <laughs> Serve them right. Making all that noise. Mm, I hate parties. Mm. <laughs> oh, what's this? <laughs> huh? oh. <laughs> Ginger. Ginger. Ginger, ginger, gingerbread man. Newly baked this morning, take a look at my tan. Hey, I'm the gingerbread man. Like a magic spell, I just appeared with a bang. Hey, hey, I'm the ginger, 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 gingerbread man. Ginger, 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 gingerbread man. <laughs>